Hey, um, I'm going to attempt to do one better than that. Do you remember the scene? Uh, do you remember the episode of Family Guy where we first see um, Peter's uh, fundamentalist Catholic father? Do you remember the dialogue about? Um, uh, do you remember the dialogue when um, Peter's dad thought that Chris was masturbating in the bathroom? I'm going to attempt to impersonate Chris Griffin, uh, or what his thoughts were when he's like that. Boobie's gonna get a make me go to hell. My name's Chris Griffin. Poopy's gonna make me go to hell. Or um, here's my favorite. Uh, this is an imper this is my impersonation of a Pentecostal or uh, or a or um or anybody who well, actually no, scratch that. This is my impersonation of a Christian when they have to think about pee. I'm a Christian. Pee's make gonna make me go to hell. Like masturbation and poopy. Sex is evil, and so is poopy and peepee. -pee. Going to bathrooms a sin. I'm gonna go to hell for touching my wee wee and having yellow stuff come out. God's gonna hate me. I'm worse than a. F uh. Okay, sorry. I should not impersonate Christians. I know that to be. I know that to my viewers, I am an agnostic. I am supposed to be above that, but this is comedy. Okay, for people who are viewing this, this is comedy. This is not um, my normal uh, method of debunking Christianity or debunking any religion. See my other videos for that. Uh, this is meant entirely as comedy. That's it. And um, I'm also going to do a George W. Bush impression just for the hell of it. Ha, I'm George W. Bush. <laughs> I'm George W. Bush. I don't want Obama or Hillary or even John McCain to become president. I want to serve in the presidency for a third term. I am George W. Bush, and I have the IQ of a gorilla. <laughs> that's what you think you evolved from, but that's what my intelligence level's at. <laughs> I have to pontificate it. I have to pontificate in the bathroom now. Bye. For those of you who didn't get that, um, George W. Bush used the wrong word, as in he's going to go defecate when he actually... Wait, he means he's going to go defecate, meaning he has to take a shit, but he said pontificate instead because he got it mixed up. Or, this is my favorite by Dick Cheney. I have to go stuff the porcelain ballot box. Big time! <laughs> His euphemism for going to the toilet. Um, <laughs> Actually, here's my new favorite. This is me impersonating the stereotype of what I'm supposed to be. Excuse me. Um, for those of you who are watching this video new and don't know, I have Asperger's Syndrome, so I'm going to make a stereotypical portrayal of someone with autism. Uh, this is for those of you who out there who, uh, who, uh, don't, um, who, think that, uh, who don't even know the difference between one autistic spectrum disorder and another, and think that all autism is the same thing. You've heard of autism before, right? This is what it looks like to you. So, was that for, uh, did that give you guys a fill up for your stereotypes this week? I certainly hope so. If you actually believe that that is the same thing for every autistic person, then you're a fucking dumbass. Sorry, I should not have resorted to that on how to add hominem attack. Keep it together, keep it together, keep it together. Okay, I'm back on a critical thinking note. If you actually believe that that stereotype I just showed you is, is typical of every autistic person, you have seriously got to do some homework. And uh, as for my interpretation of uh, the Christian not uh, having to go to the bathroom or Chris Griffin, uh, I know my, my impersonation of Chris Griffin really sucks. Um, as for um, my impersonation of the others, um, I apologize. Though I know those were offensive. Um, they were meant as a joke. They were not actually meant um, as anything serious. Um, that last one, as an autistic impersonation, um, is my uh, poking fun at the stereotype and pointing out that uh, people will sometimes believe the weirdest things about uh, mental disorders or anything else. Um, and if you actually do believe that that is common for all autistic people, um, or more specifically, if you have no knowledge of autism beyond that stereotype, 
you've got to do some serious research. It's like the idea that um, that automatically epilepsy is automatically seizures, or uh, that schizophrenia is a multiple personality disorder. Uh, actually, no. Sorry, to be correct, um, epilepsy uh, is not entire. Actually, no. Uh, no, schizophrenia is slightly. Um, schizophrenia is a bad analogy on that one because. Um, uh, schizophrenia is not a multiple personality disorder. Autism and uh, epilepsy comprise of the stereotyp uh, comprise in part of the stereotypical elements. Uh, schizophrenia uh, schizophrenia has nothing to do whatsoever with multiple personality disorder or dissociative identity disorders, as technically called. Uh, but again, you, you see the rough analogy here. It would be like uh, it would be like uh, comparing a um, is called a fallacy of um, uh, it's bordering but on what's called fallacy of composition or um, uh, hasty generalization. Hasty generalization is when you see a couple of events and assume that that's uh, true for the entire thing. Or, um, or fallacy of composition, which is the um, uh, fallacy of composition, which is the other one, is if you know uh, that part of the disorder has this particular thing, you automatically assume that it must be true for the entire spectrum or for the entire, um, for the entire whole. Uh, what is true for the parts must be true for the whole. Um, the corollary, uh, the counterpart of this, uh, the counter argument to this would be uh, that in some cases uh, the whole the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. So um, yeah, so I think that pretty much uh, takes care of it. Um, yeah, I hope that pretty much uh, covers that for autism. I don't know why the hell I got off onto that as a tangent, but uh, the original goal uh, impersonating uh, that peeing is a sin. I hope that was funny. If not, I apologize. Um, this is me making a random video on whatever the fuck I want. Um, toodles.